alchemist astrologer, and this is your May forecast for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, and Capricorn Moon. So you are represented by the Ace of Cups and the Five of Cups. So strong water energy here. You may be involved in a new relationship, a new love, a new passion about something. Perhaps this is a creative project or you're getting some divine inspiration. Uh, this is where your cup is running over and you're going to want to share how you feel. So you may be sharing how you feel with your partner. And so you could be declaring your love or maybe you're putting out some kind of offer proposal or maybe you're going to receive that. Uh, it could be some kind of a social invitation or uh, maybe you're revitalizing your relationship, renewing a connection, renewing your vows to someone. This is a card of love, deep uh, love for another person, feeling excited. Something is stirring your heart right now. And so for some of you, you're going to be uh, putting something out there. Again, sharing how you feel or receiving that. Some kind of surprise, some overwhelming gesture of love and kindness that either you offer or that you receive. Now, negatively, this can be, you know, feeling overwhelmed. It could mean that you're feeling, especially with the Five of Cups, Either you're trying to salvage this relationship, renew it, you're, you're trying to pick up the pieces and move forward, or something has happened where you feel like you want to turn your back on a relationship. You're, you're, you f you're looking at the past, the things that went wrong, you feel some emotional disappointment, a sense of loss, unfulfillment, and you may find yourself in a bitter argument with somebody where you perhaps say some very hurtful things or vice versa and you feel overwhelmed emotionally and it centers around the attainment of something some kind of some form of success so either you're trying to salvage something and you feel very emotional about it or you know you want to work toward a better situation or you you're feeling overwhelmed and it ties to your memories. There could be some sentimentality, some nostalgia, where you're looking at things through a pink tinge, where you're thinking about the good times, the pleasant memories that you shared, or how you want to create better memories with the partner that you're involved with. Uh, but it could also be that you're glorifying the past. This could be a revisionist history, where you're not really seeing things clearly. In fact, you know, you may be inconsolable right now because you're looking at something and romanticizing it and not really being mindful of the support or the partnerships that are there for you, you know, to, to help you. For some of you, this is some kind of situation that may tie to a pregnancy or a marriage or some kind of sensual passion. Now, your partner is represented by the sun and the tower. So for some of you, this is a Leo person. Uh, you may feel under pressure, or your partner does. Maybe your partner feels the pressure to succeed, or there's a focus on health. It could be some health issue that came on all of a sudden. Uh, it could maybe it has to do with uh, stroke or high blood pressure or an accident. Uh, so there's a focus on the future. It could be that there's some, you, you, the pressure to succeed, there's some opportunity arriving for your partner that impacts you and somehow that changes your destiny. You're having to make some choices, some decisions, and you're having to reorganize a situation. And so it could feel like things are unsettled, that everything's falling apart, crumbling down. But it simply means that some aspect of your life, your relationship, or your partner's life may have been built on a faulty foundation. Either of you may have to give up something that you wouldn't necessarily do on your own. But until you make that decision and get on board, you're going to be uh, subject to fate, providence. So something may be taken away from you if you don't give it up on your own. Now, you may be making some huge lifestyle changes, or your partner is. This could run the gamut from changing your residence, getting a new job, taking on a new lifestyle. Uh, maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're going to break up. You're going to divorce. You're going to separate. Something is unsettling. 
and you're having to accommodate these changes. And again, it could be even opportunity, but those opportunities create more responsibility, more challenges to be solved, to be faced, which could cause some frustration on your part or your partner. And that frustration to push something before it's ready may create some kind of burnout, either the relationship, your partner, or yourself. So this is about using your emotions and your ego to make positive decisions. Try to maintain that level of diplomacy, optimism, friendliness in your interactions to move forward. Maybe this ties to property or some kind of uh, shocking situation, some circumstance that you weren't prepared for that came on unexpectedly, suddenly. Uh, for others of you, maybe you're gaining some kind of insight. There's a light being, you know, shown on something that gives you a psychological breakthrough that allows you to move forward or onward. Now, maybe you, this comes in the form, again, of something shocking, surprising, some kind of statement that you say to your partner or vice versa that may, again, be some kind of bitter, hurtful argument or confrontation centering around falsity, wearing a false mask, having an ulterior motive, a false agenda, acting as if uh, somebody may be acting like they have your interest at heart when, in fact, they do not. That may be you or it could be your partner. So you're either moving forward, you know, to tear something down, or you're moving onward. You don't want to deal with the confrontation. You see through the falsity of it. Now, the romance is characterized by this Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So there could be a dilemma. Maybe it centers around work. Maybe it centers around bills. Maybe it centers around criticism and harsh judgment. So this Eight of Pentacles says that the goal should be working to make some improvements, focusing on the details but not to the point where you can't see the forest for the trees. This is about uh, putting things in order. E either you or your partner, maybe you're trying to climb up the ladder of success. Maybe you're trying to save money. You're trying to move up. You're trying to improve the relationship. You're trying to improve yourself. And hopefully this is a labor of love. You don't mind the effort that's required. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, so the goal is to become more efficient, to look at how you can improve to make some changes. But in other cases, you may realize that you've gotten into a rut, a comfort zone, and you need to shake things up. So for some of you, uh, again, this is some disruptive force. It could be financial, emotional, could be romantic, could be your work life is weighing in on your romance. Uh, either of you may be a workaholic, or there could be a, a total focus on money. Uh, or again, you find yourself in a routine that makes your romance stale, where you're doing the same things over and over. Either you're having the same confrontation, the same arguments, the same routine. Uh, you're stuck in a pattern, and perhaps you don't even realize that. So again, some of you may be focused on looking at your partner and criticizing. Uh, this is the nitpicker, the, you know, you didn't do this and you should have done this and you could have done it this way. So you may find yourself in this endless battle of judgment and criticism, or there may be a disregard for the details and you need to focus more intently on something. But there's some kind of dilemma that you're facing where you may be at odds with your partner or with yourself. You're conflicted between your head and your heart because there's some uncertainty. Perhaps you don't have all of the information that you need or you're questioning your partner somehow, whether the motives are false or is this in your best interest. And so you're right now sitting on the fence perhaps waiting to see if the tide is going to change what new information is going to come in are you closing yourself off to the information though failing to acknowledge the truth or a situation or not being in touch with your emotions this is a stalemate where you're not moving forward because you can't come to any agreement it could be that you're trying to mediate some kind of process between you and your partner Maybe, you know, you're in arbitration or maybe you're instigating some kind of conflict through some nitpicking and criticism. So there's a dilemma to be faced 
and you're going to have to be careful of not just ignoring it. Maybe waiting is a good strategy. You're going to wait it out and see what happens, but make sure you don't wait too long and bury your head in the sand. And it has to do with uh, being alone. Maybe you're doing some thinking. Maybe you're carrying the load alone or uh, this is criticism. Somebody's a workaholic and the other person is always left alone or you need to work in solitude and there's some kind of dilemma. And maybe there are some control issues. Maybe you're losing control or you're letting go of the control. You're passing the control over to your partner. Uh, so there's something about control that is a problem. And in fact, another problem area is this anxiety. Now again, it could be an illness, some illness that you're dealing with where maybe high blood pressure or things that come on suddenly. Maybe there's a need for surgery. Uh, maybe there's some heart issues. Uh, but there's some anxiety and that is troubling to you. Maybe there's a sense of remorse or regret. There's some anxiety about your plans. Uh, it could be about money, about health. Uh, you may be getting some news in those areas that you know center on business, health, money, finances, emotions. But there's some anxiety that may be hurtful, some regret, some remorse, uh, where it may be keeping either you or your partner up at night. Maybe you know there's some suffering. Either of your partner, either you or your partner, may be dealing with some pain, uh, some health issues. Uh, you, you don't know what choices to make. You may be replaying a situation in your head, going over the dialogue, the options. But there's something that you're failing to see. Uh, you may have put aside some options because your pride is interfering or they go against your principles or you just fail to see these options because you're so emotional. You're so caught up in the details that you don't have the objective stance to see the solution that may be right before you. It could also be that there's a case of you or your partner trying to impose what you think the other person should do because there's a sense of worry or anxiety about the choices that the other one is making. You know, perhaps your partner has made a choice that you feel is not going to serve them very well and you want to redirect them and they resent that. It causes some friction or a confrontation or vice versa. So this is about considering other options in connection to your plans that may be causing you some anxiety. It's also about perhaps, you know, romantically that there's some anxiety because you've connected to a maybe your dream lover, but somehow this person is unpredictable or unreliable. You feel like you can't depend on them. And maybe this is a new relationship and you're in the exploratory stages of it. And you thought that there was more of a commitment there. You thought this person, uh, you know, you realized that there's some falsity. And so what you thought was stable is falling apart. Now, maybe you're sharing, there's, you're anxious. Maybe you're anxious to make some plans. You want to create a situation where you share a goal financially. There's something that you want to target or there's some anxiety because you have other pressing obligations. You have some work that you have to do or bills that you have to pay. And so you're going to have to put love to the side until you address that situation. So for some of you, uh, this is about the inexperience of love. You're a novice somehow, and it's causing you some anxiety. Or you're involved with somebody who has caused you some needless pain, but fortunately, you're going to shut that emotion, that, that situation down. Maybe it's because you were innocent in some way. Others of you, this is about flirting. Now, there could be some anxiety or somebody's anxious to find greener pastures. Somebody's head may be turned by someone else. Uh, that's either you or your partner, and perhaps that's causing some kind of uh, anxiety. But there's a significant turning point for you in this relationship, either emotionally or socially. So some of you are going to become more involved in getting yourself out there, networking, connecting. Maybe you're out in the community, you're meeting people, you're mingling. And if you have a current partner, maybe you're going to start to now plan a future. Maybe you're anxious to do that. Maybe it's going slowly or there's some anxiety about that. Now, again, maybe somebody has promised something and they didn't deliver. 
and they're looking elsewhere and that creates the problem. It's taken a hit on your confidence level and you need to get some clarity about a situation. Now the underlying influence is this star card. For some of you there's a tie to an Aquarius person. For others of you, you know, this is about your faith in a situation that you may not quite understand. Some kind of setback or challenge where you're having to look for the, the lesson, the positive essence of it, the silver lining, and you may feel very vulnerable. You may feel exposed. And maybe faith, because there's so much uncertainty, some falsity, a lack of clarity, you may have to rely on your faith to move forward. That's all you have right now. And you're in some kind of transitional stage where there's a change happening. You're reorganizing your life in some way. Some big things may be on the horizon, even though you may not have a full grasp of what those things are. So your faith is in question, and perhaps there's going to be some things that occur that rejuvenate you, make you feel a sense of refreshment, like life is, you know, going to be good again. And so you feel hopeful. You're drawing on your well of emotion, divine source. You feel inspired. But this is also a card of seeing something clearly, making sure that you're not deceiving yourself. You may be involved in a situation, a relationship that requires you to make a sacrifice or to put in effort, and you're going to have to determine whether that's worth it, whether the rainbow, the pot, the pot of gold is indeed at the end of that rainbow, or whether you're just needlessly putting in effort, work, and sacrifice that's really not going to yield a return. Now, this may tie to some invitation where you're looking at is this a fair situation? Maybe there are two invitations, two opportunities, two people were invited, two lovers, uh, two options. Uh, maybe this is a legal situation. Uh, you're having to look at what's fair, how to restore balance, how to keep things equal. And so whether something is above board, whether there's falsity in the motive or whether somebody is acting with integrity, either you or the other person. So this could be some something that hasn't been settled, something that's unfinished, that needs to be restored, some kind of order. Uh, and, you know, relying on your faith and your hope is going to be important to the process. Now, the advice card is, I accept support and love becomes a bond of trust. So again, you may be getting some answers. There could have been some mystery, some enigma that you were trying to solve. You were trying to get some clarity. Then you may get those answers. You may be getting help from various sources. If this is a health issue, you may be dealing with some healing agencies. Uh, so people could be coming to your aid in unexpected ways. You know, you could be getting help from places that you did not expect. And when you accept that support, when you're not resistant to it, then that becomes, again, the foundation for you, this bond of trust between you and the other person. So your partner may be offering you that support or that assistance. Now, the outcome is this five of wands. There's some kind of struggle and it could be, you know, something petty, some ego battles, trying to have the last word. Uh, this is some kind of perhaps competition. Now, positively, you can come together with others to solve a problem. And you're ending with this queen of wands. So you may not have the final say in this situation. Perhaps a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising, male or female or just the traits of this queen, unless you have fire in your chart. But ultimately, you're probably not making the final call. So you may be struggling, and perhaps it's a struggle to gain some kind of recognition or from your partner or vice versa. This is not a queen who is for the faint of heart. 
she knows what she wants. I mean, this is fire energy. She's a natural born leader. She's not going to be harnessed in any way. She's going to do what she wants to do. She won't be controlled. She's passionate. Uh, she's authentic. She knows who she is. She knows what her uh, merits are. She's willing to put that out there to serve her end. And she's usually socially well connected. She knows a lot of people. She's got a lot of friends. She may be a patron. Uh, she may be a motivator. She may be a marketer of some sort. So she expresses concern for her family, her friends. She's very protective and she's passionate about what she does. So she could be an advocate that's working for you. Uh, uh, she could be a supporter, an ally that you depend on. Maybe this is your partner. Uh, again, she can also be very sensual. She enjoys uh, her sexuality. Her, she's comfortable with her physical body. And if this is, issue, this is an issue surrounding uh, choices, this is a queen who is passionate and may be prone to becoming a mistress. She is not averse to being the chick on the side. So there could be a struggle for recognition. Who's going to get the recognition? Uh, this is a queen who's very strong-minded, very deliberate. You may be using those traits to solve some kind of problem in your relationship. Now, your desire to be noticed is going to increase. You want to be appreciated for who you are. You want some recognition from your partner. And right now, you have a lot of romantic power of attraction, or perhaps your partner does, and that's a problem. This is a period where this queen is going to attract a wide variety of people who are interested in her for whatever reason, uh, business-wise, socially, romantically. There are a lot of suitors knocking at her door. And again, she's aware of her capabilities. And these are people whose goals match her goals. They're in alignment. They give her that spark, that motivation, that sense of adventure that she's seeking. So perhaps you are in demand right now or your partner is. Now, negatively, it could be that somebody wants that attention so badly that now they're rubbing the other person the wrong way. They're actually becoming a nuisance. They're alienating people because of their neediness. I want you to notice me. I want you to appreciate me. I want you to love me. And it's having the opposite effect. So either of you may be struggling with that with the other person. And so there's some discernment taking place. Somebody's trying to get to the bottom of something to gain the truth about what the commitment level is, what the intention is. So discernment about a marriage, a commitment, an obligation, an undertaking, uh, intention. Somebody's trying to get clear on that and they're struggling to, they're being very deliberate and passionate in trying to solve that problem or they're struggling with the idea that somebody else is getting the recognition that perhaps they feel that they are due. Now, you have three major cards, the Sun card, which means that, again, your sense of optimism and your ability to maintain your diplomacy in your connection is going to be very important. If you allow your frustration to drive your ego, you may say something or push in ways that undercut the relationship. The Tower card says it's time to re get reorganized. There are some changes that need to be made where perhaps some things have gone stale either in your life, your partner's life, or the romance. And the longer you hesitate, the more at risk you are for fate to pull you along. And the Star card says that you need to have faith. Faith in a situation that perhaps you don't quite understand or you don't have all the answers to. You just recognize that if you keep pushing and you make some calculated guesses about whether this investment is worth it, you're going to receive some kind of reward at the end. This is centering on your partnerships, agreements, exchanges, and perhaps trying to salvage something through sharing your feelings, or you know, you're trying to save some kind of project you're involved in, some goal that you have, or there's some disappointment and you're sharing your feelings about that. You're weighing your options. Now, it may be that you don't have enough of something or you may be gifted with something. 
There could be some opportunities that tie to job, to travel, to aligning forces. And you're trying to figure out what's best for you, and you're trying to do it in a way that also accommodates your partner. But there's a dilemma. There's some uncertainty, some challenge that you have to face where you don't feel quite on solid footing. You, you don't know if the choice you've made is going to bring a return. You don't know if you should wait and get, gather more information. So you may be, you know, at a stalemate, at a standstill until you decide what to do next. Unfortunately, something about your situation contains some kind of chaos, a sense of bad luck, and probably the disintegration of some kind of goal. Some, some objective you have, a goal, may fall apart with that tarot, uh, with the uh, tower card. And the attention to detail is going to be important. Something ties to timing. So for you, this is going to be a month where there's a change in the plan. And it ties to your destiny. The opportunities or challenge that present that have an effect on your future and the people that are involved that influence your future. And it's likely that there's going to be some kind of drama attached to it. You're facing something that you may feel is daunting where you're trying to make the impossible manifest. And you will get the opportunity, though, to meet some obligation or commitment or to repair or improve or clarify an aspect of your life, domestic affairs, your work, your health, your daily routine. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notify bell. Make some positive change in your relationship. Let's create a love revolution.